high turnover, not necessarily always reliable. And as far as Volkswagen is concerned, remember we're talking about a German company headquartered in Wolfsburg in Germany. And it's listed principally in Germany. You can trade it either on the uh, European index in Frankfurt, and then there's some other sort of Euro stocks type situation listing. So I'm not sure which one we're going to see. But remember, the company itself was established by Adolf Hitler in 1937. Well, that's not strictly true. Mm -hmm. He wasn't like the CEO, right? Yeah. It was it started by like the German Labour Foundation or yeah. something. But it's now part of the whole sort of global modernization of mm -hmm. German industry. Anyway, I'm waxing lyrical. <laughs> The market capitalization is 63.26 billion euros. Euros. Yes. Take note. Yes. Big company. Big company, but not as was big bigger. as like, yeah, it was bigger before. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> the chart in a minute. No PE because they're currently yeah. uh, chowing down gargantuan losses related mm. to fines and related things. And of course, that's because of the technology on the diesel engines, yes. which picked up when they were being tested and then did certain things to make it pass yeah. the test. But the rest of the time, it's drawing, you know, not doing well. Dividend yield is marginal, so they did pay a dividend. Let's go straight to the graph, which shows the chart. So which one have we got there? That's that European index, X-E-W, no, V-O-W, that's the code. Mm. So you can see there's the fall. It's doing really nicely, but at the beginning there of 2015 is when the debacle breaks. And since then it plummeted and then went sideways. Mm. Yeah, what do you say about this one? Is it a buying opportunity? That's what we want to know. Yeah, look, I mean, the share price has halved since the, since the scandal broke there. It, it's a it's a very big player in the space. Twelve percent of global cars are produced by VW. Exactly. And they've got wonderful brands. I mean, yeah. they've got the Bugattis in there. They've got the Lamborghinis. Um, Forget the about those cars. Nobody ever buys those. <laughs> How many polos do they make? Oh my God! Like uh, a lot. How probably many polos three do or we four make, million yeah. polos yeah. made a year around the world. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, even with with the scandal, and it's costing them dearly, and will continue to. For, for a while. Mm. Um, it, it's, a, it's a love brand. It's a loyal brand. But what worries me is that it's going to be fine. So like in yes. America, they've already said they're going to recall all of those TDIs and they're going to refit them, which yes. is just astonishingly expensive. They may yeah. even offer to buy them back yes. and then, I don't know, scrap them or something. Yeah. And then what about class action suits from shareholders who will argue that the mm. company misled them? I don't know. Sometimes these mm. things seem weird when that happens. But the reason the stock hasn't formed a base and bounced is Correct. because no one can get their arms around what the extent of the losses and the fines and the other things yeah. are going to be. So that's the risk you're taking, Paul, if you, if you buy it now. because we mm. don't quite know how this will play out. Um, some of it's already been worked out, particularly in the U.S. market, where they, where they are settling or buying cars yeah. back. That's probably going to cost them $15 billion. We don't know. They've said Europe's going to be different for them, mm. which is their other very big market. But it remains to be seen. So, yeah, share will remain under pressure until we can see the way Because it's forward. clearly much too big to fail. Nobody's going to let Volkswagen go under. It's too big a contributor to the German economy. It's mm. too much of a, as you say, beloved brand. But the concern I have is what the return for shareholders is going to be. Yep. Is there anything else we've missed? Don't they own a big stake in Porsche still? They do. Porsche, Bentley, um, they've got it all. Really, really good, good portfolio. Mm. Profitability will be impacted for the foreseeable future. But, but the investment question is, do you take the chance now on that yeah. and, and buy for potential upside? Because clearly, I mean, uh, if they rebound, they could rebound quite hard. Correct. But in order to do that, like for me, it's a comparable in a way with what happened to BP with yeah. the Gulf of Mexico spill. It's That's like right. a very big invisible thing. But I don't know, that one seems almost slightly easier to mm. resolve because the beaches sort of clean themselves and mm. then the fine kind of goes away yeah. and it sort of like carries on. But this thing, I don't know, people are still going to be driving these things for a while. Yeah, look, it, it just comes down to how much money they're going to yeah. have to shell out to to survive the scandal. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, I'm going to say not hot. I okay. think it's going to be too tricky and that there could still be some nasty surprises. Mm. Are you going to go hot on this one? Um, yeah, I am. I, I, I think they'll they'll get through it. I think the lawyers will make a lot of money in the process, but but mm. they'll come through it. I, I think the, the culture will have had to have evolved as a result and you know they'll, they'll keep themselves squeaky clean as a result. And people still buy those cars because they love them anyway. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm one of those. I won't say which of the brands <laughs> <laughs> I drive. But the Bugatti. <laughs> yeah. The Veyron, huh? Two Could million be. dollars. We'll keep you guessing. Nice. Yeah. Eh? You see. <laughs>